Good day, my name is Vessel Leroux. I'm the Head of Department of Public Law and Jurisprudence at the University of the Western Cape. This presentation is aimed at grade 12 learners who are interested in studying law at the UWC. I will aim to answer three questions that you might have asked yourself. Which law degrees can I study at UWC? What can I do with a law degree from UWC? And which marks do I need to study law at UWC? For first time entrants, we offer two law degrees at UWC. A Bachelor of Laws or the LLB, which is a four year professional degree and a Bachelor of Commerce in Law or a BCom in Law, which is a three year degree followed by a two additional years to complete your LLB. So you can do either the LLB, the professional degree in four years, or a BCom plus the LLB in five years. Our LLB curriculum is a brand new curriculum, a state of the art curriculum, which we introduced in 2020. We made changes to the old curriculum in order to better empower students to deal with the challenges of the contemporary world, such as globalization, the demands for Africanization and the decolonization of our society. So before I tell you about the content of our curriculum, let me share with you one or two thoughts about our philosophy of legal education at UWC. We believe that you need to transform yourself by becoming an active participating, participant in the studying process in order to later transform society. To this end, we aim to stimulate your head, your hands, and your heart. So let's start by talking about how we will keep your head engaged and stimulated. As far as studying law engages your head, you will of course have to learn the law, the rules of the law, but even more importantly, the underlying values and principles that inform our law. Those values and principles are contained in the Constitution which forms the DNA, as it were, of our legal system, which determines the growth and the shape of the organism or the law as a whole. In addition to that, you will study different sets of rules applicable to different areas of society. For example, you will study the rules of law applicable to marriage and the family, or the rules of law applicable to the law of contract, perhaps the rules of law applicable to administrative law. These different subjects will be covered in the first three years of your LOB degree, where you will learn about contract law, labor law, property law, criminal law, and so forth. When you come to your final year or the fourth year, you will be given a choice or a number of electives so that you can choose which areas of law you want to further pursue or perhaps add to the list of rules that you've already mastered. So in your final year, you can choose electives like internet law, like Muslim personal law, uh, like environmental law, um, and so forth. So in the four years that you study the LLB curriculum, you will cover a large body of rules and principles um, covering most of the important areas of society. That is as far as the LLB degree is concerned. When we speak about the BCom law degree, you will study the normal BCom subjects with a number of selected LLB modules thrown in, those particularly applicable to the business world or the commercial world. In the final year of your BCom, you will then also get a chance to specialize and choose between uh, economic specialization, industrial psychology perhaps, management or maybe finance. Once you've completed your BCom degree in three years, you will then enroll for the LLB, uh, which you can complete the third and fourth years in two additional years, leaving you with a BCom LLB. As far as studying law at UWC will engage your hands, by that I mean uh, will give you practical skills that you need to master in order to become an effective lawyer or to use the law effectively to transform society. So in the new LLB curriculum, we focus very strongly on these cross-cutting skills that you need to master. We focus on reading skills, of course, reading law, 
um, requires a lot of reading, so comprehension and reading skills. We focus on writing skills, drafting various kinds of documents. We focus on research skills, how do you access the law, where do you find the law, and how to do so in an increasingly electronic environment. Lastly, we focus on critical thinking skills. Um, so to be critical and not to simply accept the current state of the law as it is. These skills are combined into practical or clinical legal skills. So each student completing a degree at the UWC must do a practical legal training course in some form or other. We've got a law clinic associated with the LLB and with the law faculty where selected students can then work with clients to own their practical uh, clinical legal skills. So that is as far as your legal education year will keep your hands engaged. This brings me to the last aspect of studying law at UWC. I mentioned earlier that studying at UWC will touch your heart. We believe that you must invest yourself as a person in the studying process, transform yourself in order to transform society. And to that end, we have identified a number of graduate attributes which we install in each and every module throughout the curriculum. These graduate attributes are personal character traits or characteristics which we believe that any graduate studying law at UWC must develop. To summarize then, if you study law at UWC, be sure that we will stimulate your mind, that we will keep your hands busy and that we will touch your heart. The second question I wish to discuss with you is what can you do with a law degree from UWC? Our LLB is a generic LLB, which means that it allows you to pursue a wide variety of careers. You can decide to become a lawyer and go into legal practice. You can do that either in private, by becoming an attorney in an attorney's firm, or an advocate. You can also go into the civil service or into public service by becoming a prosecutor and later on perhaps a magistrate. Or you can work within the NGO sector by joining a, a movement like the Lawyers for Human Rights or one of the United Nations uh, agencies. So the LOB prepares you to become a practicing lawyer. If that's not uh, what you see yourself doing, then the LOB can position you to become a researcher. You can either become a researcher at a university uh, by pursuing a master's degree perhaps and become an academic, eventually a professor in law. Or you can join a centre or an institute or United Nations agency and do legal research for one of those institutions. But lastly and perhaps more importantly, an LLB career, an LLB degree also positions you well to pursue a variety of other careers. The next question is, which marks do I need to obtain in grade 12 in order to study law at UWC? The admission requirements for the BCom in law and the LLB differ slightly. So let's look at the LLB first. In order to uh, apply for admission to the LLB, you of course require a bachelor's pass. But in addition to that, you also need to meet certain additional requirements. UWC works on an admissions point system, the details of which can be looked up on the website of the law faculty. In terms of that point system, you require a minimum of 37 points in order to apply for law at UWC. To give you a rough idea, if you obtain 60% across the board for all your subjects, you will have a point score of 38. In addition to that minimum point score, we also require certain subject percentages for one or two key subjects. Because law is a lot of reading and writing, we require that for English you obtain at least 50%, either as your home language or your first additional language. As far as the second language is concerned, we require a 40% minimum, um, either for home language or first additional language. If you do mathematics pure, 
we need a minimum requirement of 40% and if you do mathematics literacy we require a minimum of 60%. If you meet the 37 point score and the minimum requirements for the various subjects you are welcome to apply to study an LLB at UWC. You will then be placed in a selection process based purely on your marks and you can be placed in one of two LLB degrees thereafter. We have a four-year LLB program that students can complete at the minimum in a four-year period but we also have a second LLB program that runs over five years. This is called the extended curriculum program and the minimum requirement there is five years. If you are interested in studying the BCom in law, please note that the application requirements differ slightly from those of the LLB. First, you require a minimum point score of 30, but then you need to obtain 50% in at least four of your matric subjects. In addition, you need to have obtained 50% for English and 40% for your additional language. The most important difference, however, is that you need to obtain 50% for mathematics. That means that if you do mathematic literacy, you can unfortunately not apply to study BCom Law at UWC. In conclusion, as an HOD, I encourage you to study as hard as you possibly can during the rest of the year because the UWC only accepts a limited number of applicants based on their Grade 12 results. All the best with the Grade 12 examinations. I hope to meet you here next year.